What up everybody, this is my first reaction to the critically acclaimed Raising Canaan Season 2 finale. If you don't know, now you know. I, I, can't, I gotta be honest with you. It brought a tear to my eye at the end of the episode. Um, so yeah, it was it was a good one, man. Definitely super good ep episode. You see why it's critically acclaimed. Uh, but I'm gonna do this video a little different. What since it is the finale, I'm not gonna address every particular uh, topic that happened or whatever from this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring closure in this video. I'm gonna address the topics that I'm gonna address the war, and I'm gonna address the things that brought close that came to closure in season two. Um, that that are not going to be going into season three, whatever. That brought closure to season two, came to closing in season two, and we'll talk about the war. Oh, in power. Jason mentioned, told Tommy Egan that war is bad for business, and both sides, Rock side and Salbo Selly side both lost a lot of soldiers in this episode so I want to talk start off by talking about the drive-by scene I've been waiting for it all season because I've compared this show to to New Jack City and Wesley Snipes or my boy I'm not no, Wesley Snipes. Nino Brown goes by in the drive-by in um, New Jack City on a motorcycle and wipes out that uh, Italian mob and real quick drive by we see that scene in the finale I've been waiting for it y'all been listening to me for a minute I've been predicting this drive by scene since the Italian war started but I've been waiting for these boys to get it man and I wish Sal Bocelli would have got it in this episode so they hit the drive by scene and they get a good four or five of them Italian uh, mobsters but I wish they would have spun the block again, cause they saw that they they Marvin and Lou was the, was two of the shooters going in them cars. They were in the back seat of the two cars. They needed to spin the block again because if they would have spun the block again, Salvo Selly was out there shooting with, with 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 a with a revolver, bruh. Come on, man, y'all got. Y'all got machine guns. This dude, these dudes are shooting at y'all with revolvers. Y'all needed to spin the block again. I understand. You know they want to. They doing a drive by. They want to get in and out. They want to just make it quick. But this this whole war and all this loss could have been avoided if these two dudes could have just did their job right, man. For real, they could have spin the block real quick, pulled back around, and just turned back and drove back that way and they would have got Sal Bocelli or they could have timed they timed their cars to go at two different times have the first car go by and shoot up the block and then when they all running out trying to catch that car that's when the second car comes by and slides and they could have got Sal Bocelli that way so I'm kind of pissed off so I made it out this 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 show. So we get into the war. Bad for business on both sides. R.I.P. The people lost in the war. We see the Italian mobs. They rush out into all three of the uh, buildings that the Thomas family is tra running a operation out of. Um. So we get and. We, and they got the um and they ran up in bulletproof records and they ran up in rocks place so in this final scene we uh we get the death of Zisa so then that one hurt me bad man that one almost that one's like 
like when Reyna got shot in power, man, I felt like almost as bad when, when I saw Ziza get shot, man. I mean, that one hurt me, man. Ziza, y'all didn't have to, y'all rider, power riders didn't have to take out Ziza like that, man. For real, that ain't right. But with Ziza getting taken out, since I told you I'm, I'm bringing, I'm only going to talk about the closure. Most likely this is bringing closure to the Crown Camacho death and any inve- any potential investigation that would have warranted or that might still be warrant that might come in, a, in, in season three, if it even possible. It brings closure to this because Ziza was the only witness and the only accomplice in the Crown Camacho death. So without Ziza's testimony, without being able to get her to flip, I don't see the I don't see the NYPD having a case on Lulu. So I'm Ziza and Ziza R.I.P. Sad man. And this is going to bring closure to the crown in my opinion most likely gonna bring closure to crown camacho because there's nobody else who even knows anything about it and and, and everybody else is wondering what's going on they, they just know that dude had a lot of enemies owed a lot of people money then that gets me into let's go to kenya i know it's not going in order but kenya coming gets hit in the crossfire when she's coming to see Rock about Juke beating down Corey the church boy. <laughs> Corey the church boy, he boy, he swung with two two um what do you call those kind of punches? God dog. Corey the church boy ain't ever been in a fight before, man. Ugh. He could have might have landed on somebody with those with what with those haymakers he was throwing though, but Juke beat the brakes off Corey the church boy so we know that relationship is over with some people had predicted in comments that um Corey the church boy was gonna be Juke's first body where well, he was close to it but she just gave him taught him a lesson and got her mama murked in the process because Kenya is going to um talk to rock mother to mother and she picked the wrong time to do it. But you gotta, uh, you gotta ultimately think about this. She brought this on her own hands by, on her own self. That's why, I don't, that's why I'm hurt by Aziza. But I don't feel that type of way about Kenya, because she, she did what she did to Juke. So that's what caused the. It was it's a boomerang effect. If she went in and had brought them church people to her house to abuse juke juke wouldn't have went after Corey the church boy and assaulted him because that's what she came to talk to rock about that's her final words um and there would have been no she would still be alive right now so kenya kind of brought that upon herself r.i.p kenya juke mama now gone all right Gets me into Warrell. That was a, that was that was hurt me too, man. Warrell going in this episode. I did predict his death in my. That was the one I got right. I think I said he was the most likely to go though. But the one I did get right, I said Ziza wouldn't go. But she will. The one I did get right hurt me though. Warrell went to at the at the sign of war and just. When the spot got shot up, him and him and uh, Neek had a nice conversation right before he left. Though talking about what you need, talking about they need to start looking in, crack dying off. All the base heads are old, old dudes, and it ain't a good look. They the joke of the neighborhood, the crackheads. So that's um, him and Unique's last conversation before getting ran up on by the Italian hitters, Italian soldiers. And that gets me to Greddy, Greedy, whatever his name is, I'm not sure, but 
he's the one who most known for in this particular season he was um the guy who gave Kanan the brown bag talk he talking about the brown bag guy don't answer don't ask no questions um he was also he the one who got shot in the very first episode of season one by unique's crew when one of the very first scenes of raising Kanan from the hospital R.I.P. to Gretty. He was always a loyal soldier to the Thomas family. So, lots of soldiers go. Like I started off saying, um, bad for business, man. They done lost the, uh, um, Chabo Sully. Pissed off, he going, I'll make another video talking about him. I'm pissed off, he made it to season three he done lost a lot of soldiers um rock done lost a lot of soldiers a lot of pride product gonna get lost in that all that mix up to um i don't know if they have time to stash it because obviously the cops are gonna show up eventually and seize it, it is a seize the whatever they find um so yeah gonna lost a lot of loss in this war um then that once gets me to Neek saves Rock at the very end as the hitters coming in the door. She gets one. The second one gets her in the shoulder. And he saves Rock with Worrell's blood still on his hands. And that's it. And that's when um, Kanan and Detective Howell pull up too as they're coming out. <laughs> Brought the tear to my eye, man. But I'm not gonna get too too much deep into that because I said I'm gonna do any this. I'm just gonna bring closure to this particular thing. First reaction. Not gonna get too deep into it. And then we got R.I.P. Sam the Crackhead. Brought it upon himself like Kenya did, kinda too. Worrell, greedy. They in the game. Kenya. She brought upon herself by choices she made. Ziza is the only one I can say who was really innocent in all this. And then you got Sam. <laughs> brought it upon himself. He could have he could have just stayed clean for like the 24-hour bus ride to Atlanta. And I'm sure he could have found a crack house in Atlanta. And he'd still be alive. But nah, man. He couldn't wait. He couldn't wait. Had to go ahead and spin that knot in his pocket and Sam used to be an accountant we find out and that's what crack do to a lot of people take their business take their jobs away take their life away from them found them and find them in situations like Sam smoking out in crack houses begging for money at gas stations and then you start off like that man that's what the drugs did to him. But Marvin did what he should have did in the first episode. But he gave him a chance. R.I.P. Sam. I guess his um his witness statement dies in season two of Raising Canaan with him. So that don't leave Burke much to go on. Except her own <laughs> her own pos her own knowledge. She what she knows she knows, but she got no proof. Of what she knows, she got no, no witness. She got nothing to go on. So, R.I.P. Sam and the information he know, talking too much. A lot of y'all love Sam. I ain't got no respect for Sam, man. Sam was a crackhead and he was a informer and a snitch. All right, holla back. That's my first reaction. Got a lot more videos to go. Leave your reaction in the comments.